All right, welcome back. Now, um, Comrade Pedro Obi uh, Chibuzo joins us right in our Abuja studios. He's the president of the National Association of Nigerian Students. Concern is around, um, you know, uh, um, an alarm that the association raised about um, abandoned projects. And this is abandoned projects in Nigerian universities and the, the, very, the very many insecurity concerns that is, is brought about. Uh, so good to have you on the show, uh, Comrade. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so tell us exactly what the issues are with um, uh, NANS and the NDDC. Uh, yes, um, you see, NDDC, as the name implies, Niger Data Development Commission, uh, a supposed interventionist uh, agency. Uh, that ordinarily should have been a good example of what a restructured system is. Uh, is but unfortunately, o over the years, we have had cases of uh, numerous abandoned projects, uh, literally the entire landscape of the, of the uh, region. And this is very unfortunate. And now in, to our constituency, which is our major concern, our major concern. You see, if you move from one campus to the other, from one university to the other, you see abandoned projects with signposts NDDC. It's really unfortunate. In my school, for instance, uh, Delta State University, for more than for years, spanning almost 15, more than 15 years, you are having hostels that have been abandoned over the years. So these are things that ordinarily shouldn't have been allowed to happen. These hostels, these projects have been allowed to be taken over by the criminals. You see, uh, hiding criminals, hide, having a safe haven in this little and an abandoned project. And that is why for us, we feel it is now important for us to call on the management of the commission to do everything possible to ensure that this situation is changed for good. I am aware that now we have a, a management that is led by a fine gentleman, someone who has been in, in the educational sector over, over, the, over the years, has been commissioner in, in uh, basic education. That is the person of uh, Mr. Chiedu Ebier. So I believe now that he's the chairman of the NDDC, he will pay premium and take priority attention in our campuses and see that all projects that has to do with education is taken care of and take it as a priority. Because you see, no society can grow beyond the capacity of its educational level. So we must pay priority attention to our campuses. We must pay priority attention to our education. Because you see, that is the problem. That's the problem with uh, corruption in, in, in Africa. You see, I was reading something days ago I was reading something days ago with respect to corruption. Not that you don't have corruption happening in Western world, but you see these people, once it has to do with corruption, they will do everything possible to even return the fund to the, to the, to the society, to, okay, to how to better the, even the GDP of the, of, the, of the country. You see people... I know you want to speak more on that, and I'd like for you to do that, but before you continue, You've just described the new MD of NDDC as being a fine gentleman. Has your association approached him in any form to push forward what you're asking for now? Uh, not the MD, the, I mean the, the chairman that I called his name right now. Uh, of course, the MD has also been there, so I understand now that he has a fine gentleman who I believe two of them cannot complement themselves. They will have to pay priority attention to the educational sector. Yes, they just came on board just last month. Uh, he was inaugurated as chairman just last month. So I want to believe now that he is now on board, we will see every, we will do everything possible to ensure that we get across and uh, make him understand that now you have been brought, you, are, you are now in this agency, you have a former 
sector that you are passionate about, that is the educational sector. There is not every need for you to do everything possible to ensure that this project that is in our campuses, we are ready to partner with the commission to ensure that this project are taking priority attention. At the audit of the abandoned project, you saw mentioning numbers, over 13,000 abandoned projects. In this abandoned project, I want to believe you are more than 20 percent are littered in our campuses. You have ICT projects, you have hostess projects, you have campus, you have a, a lecture theaters abandoned. So we, if as we partner with the commission, we want to look out for this project and see how we can do everything possible to ensure that these projects are completed in no distant time. Because you see, this project ordinarily when they were awarded, they were supposed to last nothing less than two years before they are before they are they are completed. Most of them has been has been has been mobilized more than 50 to 60 percent. Do you see? So we must change the way we do things. We must be accountable to the people. So the commission has everything to do. Nance is ready if it is for us to, to, to mention and shame those uh, 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 contractors. We are ready. We are ready to support the commission to ensure that our, our campuses have a new lease of life. Because whoever that, that, that brought out the issue of intervening in our campuses meant where? So we must not do everything. There are still places that should be that, that should be sacred. The educational sector, the ed, the campuses should be sacred, because imagine somebody that is in hundred level, being in hundred level, growing to be in final year, and the project that he came to meet is still there, and they say is NDDC. He will grow to have that in, 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 impression that this is a cesspool of corruption. So yes. you, th th that yes. is why. Yeah. In the campus, we must do everything possible Comrade to Chibuzo. ensure that we do what is right. Comrade Chibuzo, I, I, I completely applaud your, you know, your attention to these details, and I completely applaud what the association is doing. Uh, but then, like you rightly said, you just must have to channel, channel your concerns first to the NDDC. Uh, let's not have a media trial of this concern. But then, you're also aware that um, there was a probe of the NDDC a couple of years, years ago that brought about the off your mic, off your mic uh, slogan. Now, I wish to show that um, part of those probes uh, does not concern all of these that we're talking about today. So if it does, if it does what has come out of that probe in recent times? I don't know. Nothing has happened. Um, I don't know. I hope we're not just chasing wild, wild goose here right now. I hope so. Uh, see, uh, can you please uh, take it back the last, what you said? Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that um, we can achieve what you have, you have actually you know, come out to achieve. And I, I'm afraid, I, I just hope that... Um, uh, these abandoned projects are not part of what was being probed the other time by the Senate that brought about um, that they did off all the mics and we heard nothing about them anymore. Obviously. 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 <laughs> Obviously. They cannot be in isolation. That is why we are saying now it should be taking priority attention. Priority attention must be paid to the educational sector. Because, you see, these projects, once they, are, once they are done, once they are done rightly, he even projects, he even projects the commission where to the public. You, you see, there's no point paying so much for media to launder the image of the commission if we do more in the campuses. Because, you see, campuses has conglomeration of people. A probe of the NDDC again. Are you likely calling for further proof of the NDDC in line with this with this um, our demands? Hello, comrade. Are you still there? Yes. I did ask. Are you likely calling for a probe of the NDDC all over again? Uh, fortunately, I think we just lost all. What has been done before? Let us look at it. Let us look at it.
the priority attention Just look from at those it. projects and take majorly the from priority attention, and attention from those projects, majorly from our campuses and even our communities. Um, Comrade Chibuzo, I think it's a perfect place so, to, to, to call him for a probe again is just jamboree for me. Thank you. Thank you so very much for coming on STV today. Thank you. Uh, we're hoping that um, you can reach out to the managing director 